factors contributing to economic and social developments of the Ayutthaya Kingdom. The important factors that contributed to the prosperity of the Ayutthaya Kingdom economically and socially were as follows. One, the geographical features that made the city of Ayutthaya and its inferior cities the productively agriculture zone. The Ayutthaya Kingdom was located on the river basin of many rivers, such as the Bang Pakong River, the Lopuri River, the Pasak River, the Jaupaya River, the Subhanburi Nakhon Chai Si Tajin Rivers, and Mekong River. They flow from the north to the Gulf of Siam. Annually, Ayutthaya would be flooded during the rainy season. When the water receded, it left a lot of organic sediments on surface, making the land very fertile and suitable for a large-scale rice cultivation. When the water receded, it left a lot of organic sediments on surface, making the land very fertile and suitable for a large-scale rice cultivation. Production was sufficient to feed the population and had enough excessive stock for the manpower of the armies and also for export. Because of the fertility of the land, the communities expanded and the size of population had steadily grew. In addition, these geographical factors contributed to the stability and strength of the Ayutthaya Kingdom. 2. The ideal location of the city of Ayutthaya that helped to make the kingdom the commercial hub of foreign and domestic trades. The city of Ayutthaya was located where the three major rivers, Jalpaya, Pasak, and Lopburi, converged into the delta which was at the mouth of the Gulf of Siam. It was convenient for the foreign merchants to transport their products using these waterways, the northern and eastern regions, to Ayutthaya. Therefore, it became the transportation route for the domestic traders to bring their products to sell to the foreign merchants and to buy the imported products for resale to the inland areas. As a result, the Ayutthaya Kingdom was considered as one of the richest kingdoms in the Southeast Asian region and became a multinational society where people of various religions and languages lived together peacefully. Three, the king's policies in commerce governing administration and foreign affairs. Most Ayutthayan kings promoted commercial trade, which was an important factor contributing to the kingdom's economic stability. The policy on expanding the territories and making new foreign allies benefited the trade and economy of the kingdom. Ayutthaya became a secure and stable kingdom. Also, the kingdom, being a multicultural and multinational society, had enriched itself through the exchange of different cultures from foreign territories and immigrants. Ayutthaya had the freedom of religion policy, as Muslims, Christians, Brahmins, and Buddhists could live together peacefully. It attracted more foreign traders and enhanced the volume of commerce in the kingdom.